Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In this video, we are going to start off with a new tutorial, Hibernate 6 version tutorial, and it's a complete full course. And uh, in this video, we'll just introduce about this Hibernate. So, what is this Hibernate is an Hibernate is an ORM framework. And what is this ORM? ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. Now let us understand what is this Object Relational Mapping and what is the need of going with this Object Relational Mapping over JDBC. So when you take this ORM, here we are having one important definition called as POJO class. And what is this POJO is? POJO stands for Plain Old Java Object and which is a Java bin class without events. So what is a Java bin class? It is a public class with the private properties and for every property we should have a setter method and getter method. So a class with private properties and setters and getter methods. And when you take Java bin class, we can even go with some event methods, some calculation methods. But when we go with POJO class, it's a plain class with private properties, constructors, setters, getters and two string method. Once we create this POJO class, now this POJO class, even we call it as the entity class. And uh, we want to persist the object, means we want to insert the object, employee object data into a table. That is the main objective here. So for that, we are going to create this employee class object like em employee EMP equal to new employee. Here in this EMP is an object and we are setting the value. Like example, EMP dot set EMP ID 111 emp dot set emp name raj emp dot set employee salary 8000 now what is the objective we want to insert this object data into the employee table so here we are going with an employee table with the columns emp id emp name emp salary now by using jdbc how to insert this object data into table after getting connection to the respective database will go with the statement like example prepared statement st equal to con dot prepared statement and we make use of insert command like insert into employee values here we within parenthesis double quote plus emp dot get emp id so what is the syntax to replace the value of variable double quote plus the variable name plus double quote in this example to take the value we are going to invoke the getter method emp dot get emp id which replaces the value of employee ID in our example 111. Then say comma, single quote, double quote, plus emp dot get emp name, which replaces the value Raj. And why single quote here? Since it's of type varicast string type. Then comma, double quote, plus emp dot get employee salary, which replaces 8000. After preparing this insert command, we have to execute this. So how to execute? st dot execute update which will insert this complete object data that is emp data into your employee table. So for that, we are going to use JDBC here. So when we go with JDBC, we are having some drawbacks with JDBC. The drawbacks are like, in future to the POJO class employee, if you add a new property like designation, we need to come back to JDBC program and we have to update our insert command. That means whenever we update our POJO class, every time we have to come back to JDBC code and we need to update our query. That is one drawback because JDBC does not play with objects data directly. It won't play with objects directly. And one more drawback is if you are writing this JDBC code in order to connect to MySQL database and if you write the SQL command related to MySQL and in future if you change the database to Oracle, then again, we have to come back to JDBC code and we need to update our SQL commands because some SQL commands may differ from database to database. So one more drawback of JDBC is database dependent. To overcome this JDBC drawbacks, we are going to make use of ORM frameworks like Hibernate. So in the case of Hibernate, we simply make use of the predefined API, the methods like save and pass your object, or you can even make use of persist and pass your object so when we just use this save or persist method the complete object data 
will get inserted into the employee table and in this emp is what it is an object employee table it is a relation so to map our object and relation we call it as object relation mapping in this we can take an object of a project class and we can insert into your employee table we can even take the record of employee table and put it back into the object both the directions are possible so this only we call object relational mapping very very important one now so coming to this hibernate as an oreo what is this hibernate hibernate is an orm solution for java and it raised as an open source persistent framework and it has been created by given king then what hibernate is going to do in hibernate we map our java classes to database tables and even we take java class properties with the table columns we are going to map our class properties with the table columns and for that we are going to create one hibernate xml mapping file or you can even make use of hibernate annotations and what hibernate provides it's going to provide simple apis for storing and retrieving java objects directly to and from the database and what are the methods here persist or save this persist or save method is like insert command merge or update is like update command remove or delete is for delete command get or list is for select command and in this save update and delete are deprecated methods in hibernate 6 version in case of hibernate 6 version we need to make use of the methods like persist merge remove in order to go with select we can either use get or list here so we'll see the complete practical example in the next videos in hibernate we create hibernate xml configuration file and in this configuration file what we need to do we are going to configure the database connection properties like the driver class url username and password and in this xml file we need to even refer to our hibernate xml mapping file or you can even refer to our pojo class name so we need to map our pojo class name and when we create hibernate xml mapping file we go with uh, we refer to hibernate xml mapping file and when we use hibernate annotations in our project class we are going to refer to the project class name in the configuration file so like example we are going to create one configuration file like hibernate.cfg.xml cfg means configuration now so the advantage of going with this hibernate is like if there is a change in database then the only need to change is xml file properties in hibernate xml configuration file so once we create this hibernate xml configuration file in that we provide the database connection properties like driver class url username and password let us suppose initially we have provided the database connection properties related to mysql and feature we have updated to oracle then just to come to this hibernate.cfg.xml file and to change the database connection properties so shifting of database is very very simple that is the reason we call orm frameworks are database independent so whatever the database it may be whatever the java code we write that will remain same for any database so if you update the database just we have to come to this configuration file and we have to update our connection properties so this is the main advantage of going with hibernate so that's about in this video and uh, we'll see in the next videos what setup required in order to work with hibernate 6 version thank you all please subscribe like and share